Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery OMS or OMFS specializes in treating many diseases, injuries and defects in the head, neck, face, jaws and the hard and soft tissues of the oral mouth and maxillofacial jaws and face region. It is an internationally recognized surgical specialty. In countries such as the UK and most of Europe, it is recognized as both a specialty of medicine and as such a medical degree or both a degree in medicine and dentistry is compulsory. In almost every other region including the United States, Canada, all of North America, Central America, and South America, Australia, New Zealand, India, and all Asian countries, as well as all of Scandinavia Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Norway OMS is a recognized specialty of dentistry. For all countries outside of the UK and Central Europe around the world, the dental specialty residency of oral and maxillofacial surgery may or may not include a full degree in medicine. Regulations <inaudible> 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 In several countries oral and maxillofacial surgery is a speciality recognized by a professional association, as is the case with the Dental Council of India, American Dental Association, Royal College of Surgeons of England, Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, Royal College of Dentists of Canada, Royal Australasian College of Dental Surgeons and Brazilian Federal Council of Odontology. CFO. In other countries oral and maxillofacial surgery as a specialty exists but under different forms, as the work is sometimes performed by a single or dual qualified specialist depending on each country's regulations and training opportunities available. Summary. An oral and maxillofacial surgeon is a regional specialist surgeon treating the entire craniomaxillofacial complex, anatomical area of the mouth, jaws, face, and skull, as well as associated structures. Depending upon the jurisdiction, maxillofacial surgeons may require training in dentistry, surgery, and general medicine. Training and qualification in medicine may be undertaken optionally even if not required. Oral and maxillofacial surgery is widely recognized as one of the specialties of dentistry. In many countries, however, maxillofacial surgery is a medical specialty requiring both medical and dental degrees, culminating in an appropriate qualification e.g. Fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons, FRCS, in the UK, all oral and maxillofacial surgeons, however, must obtain a university degree in dentistry before beginning residency training in oral and maxillofacial maxillofacial surgery. In the United States oral and maxillofacial residency programs are either four or six years in duration. Programs that grant the MD degree are six years in duration. They also may choose to undergo further training in a one- or two-year subspecialty oral and maxillofacial surgery fellowship training in the following areas. Cosmetic facial surgery Cranio-maxillofacial trauma Craniofacial surgery, pediatric maxillofacial surgery, cleft surgery Head and neck cancer, microvascular reconstruction Maxillofacial regeneration reformation of the facial region by advanced stem cell technique the popularity of oral and maxillofacial surgery as a career for persons whose first degree was medicine, not dentistry, seems to be increasing in a few EU countries. 
However, the public funds spent for 14 years of training are of a major concern for governments. Integrated programs are becoming more available to medical graduates allowing them to complete the dental degree requirement in about three years in order for them to advance to subsequently complete oral and maxillofacial surgical training. Topic surgical procedures Treatments may be performed on the craniomaxillofacial complex, mouth, jaws, face, neck, and skull, and include, dentoalveolar surgery surgery to remove impacted teeth, difficult tooth extractions, extractions on medically compromised patients, bone grafting or preprosthetic surgery to provide better anatomy for the placement of implants, dentures, or other dental prostheses surgery to insert osseointegrated bone-fused dental implants and maxillofacial implants for attaching craniofacial prostheses and bone-anchored hearing aids. Cosmetic surgery of the head and neck, rhytidectomy, facelift, brow lift, blepharoplasty, Asian blepharoplasty, otoplasty, rhinoplasty, septoplasty, cheek augmentation, chin augmentation, genioplasty, oculoplastics, neck liposuction, lip enhancement, injectable cosmetic treatments, Botox, chemical peel etc. Corrective jaw surgery Orthognatic surgery, surgical treatment and or splinting of sleep apnea, maxillomandibular advancement, genioplasty diagnosis and treatment of, benign pathology cysts, tumors etc. Malignant pathology oral and head and neck cancer with ablative and reconstructive surgery, microsurgery cutaneous malignancy skin cancer, lip reconstruction congenital craniofacial malformations such as cleft lip and palate and cranial vault malformations such as craniosynostosis, craniofacial surgery chronic facial pain disorders temporomandibular joint TMJ disorders dysnathia incorrect bite and orthognatic literally straight bite reconstructive surgery orthognatic surgery maxillomandibular advancement surgical correction of facial asymmetry soft and hard tissue trauma of the oral and maxillofacial region jaw fractures cheek bone fractures, nasal fractures, leffert fracture, skull fractures and eye socket fractures. <laughs> Anesthesia training In the United States, oral and maxillofacial surgeons are required to undergo five months of intensive general anesthesia training. An additional month of pediatric anesthesia training is also required. The American Society of Anesthesiologists published a statement on the anesthesia care team, which specifies qualified anesthesia personnel and practitioners as anesthesiologists, anesthesiology fellows, anesthesiology residents, oral and maxillofacial surgery residents, anesthesiologist assistants and nurse anesthetists. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Laser applications in ohms. Lasers were first introduced to ohms in the mid-1980s starting with the CO2 laser. The CO2 carbon dioxide laser remains the gold standard for the soft tissue surgery because of the ease of simultaneous photothermal ablation and coagulation and small blood capillary hemostasis. Topic: In Australia, New Zealand, and North America. Oral and maxillofacial surgery is one of the nine dental specialties recognized by the American Dental Association, Royal College of Dentists of Canada, and the Royal Australasian College of Dental Surgeons. 
Oral and maxillofacial surgery requires four to six years of further formal university training after dental school i.e., DDS, BDENT, DMD or BDS. In the United States, four-year residency programs grant a certificate of specialty training in oral and maxillofacial surgery. Six-year residency programs grant the specialty certificate in addition to a degree such as a medical degree e.g., MD, DO, MBBS, MBCHB or research degree e.g., MS, MSC, MPhil, MDS, MSD, MDSC, D. Clindent, DSC, DMSC, PhD. Both four- and six-year graduates are designated U.S. board eligible, and those who earn certification are diplomats. Approximately 50% of the training programs in the U.S. and 66% of Canadian training programs are dual degree. The typical training program for an oral and maxillofacial surgeon is Two to four years undergraduate study BS, BA, or equivalent degrees. Four years dental study DMD, BDENT, DDS or BDS. Four to six years residency training. Some programs integrate an additional degree such as, a master's degree MS, MDS, MSC, McClendent, MSC Dent, MDent, doctoral degree PhD, DMSC, D. Clindent, DSC, or medical degree MBBS, MD, DO, MBCHB, MDCM, after completion of surgical training most undertake final specialty examinations, U.S. Board Certified ABOMS. Australia, NZ, FRACDS, or Canada, FRCDC. Some colleges offer membership or fellowships in oral, maxillofacial surgery, Moral Surg RCS, M, OMS, RCPS, FFD RCSI, FEBOS, FACOMS, FFD RCS, FAMS, FCDSHK, FCMFOS, SA. Recently both single and dual qualified oral and maxillofacial surgeons are now also obtaining fellowships with the American College of Surgeons FACS. Average total length after secondary school, 12 to 14 years in addition, graduates of oral and maxillofacial surgery training programs can pursue fellowships, typically one to two years in length, in the following areas. Head and neck cancer, microvascular reconstruction, cosmetic facial surgery, facelift, rhinoplasty, etc. Craniofacial surgery and pediatric maxillofacial surgery, cleft lip and palate repair, surgery for craniosynostosis, etc. Cranio maxillofacial trauma, soft tissue and skeletal injuries to the face, head and neck. <laughs> 